What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool Zaha Hadid staircase in Revit. Now uh, I love Zaha Hadid designs and uh, this one is just, uh, just so elegant and I already did one tutorial where I show you how to create a similar staircase but this will be kind of an update in homage to Zaha Hadid's architecture. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, and uh, also if you want to get featured on my social media, you can tag me in your posts and I'll uh, post that on my Instagram or Facebook accounts. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm just going to be using the architectural template for uh, this staircase project. And uh, as soon as Revit starts up, which will be soon, I hope. Come on. Okay, here we go. And nope. I guess not. Okay, here we go with technical difficulties out of the way, we can st uh, certainly now start modeling. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a floor uh, because we need somewhere to uh, start our stairs from. So there we go, we've got one floor and I'm just going to go into the 3D view and uh, just go here to copy uh, to clipboard. So on the modify tab, uh, copy, paste, you open up the drop menu, you go to align to selected levels, you open that up, you choose level two, hit okay and there you go. So we've got now you've got two levels. And uh, once you've got this, uh, now we can start placing our stairs. So we're going to start off with a regular staircase and then we're going to be adding uh, our own staircase over it and modeling it as an in-place element. So, or an in-place family element. So just go here to stairs and choose the, the monolithic one because it has uh, the least amount of materials on it. And uh, here and actually it has 23 steps and that's too much so we can maybe lower this so i'm just going to go here to the south elevation and yeah here instead of uh, 4000 millimeters let's uh, drop this down to 3000 millimeters it's just going to give us less steps and we don't need, really need that high of a staircase so let's go back to level one stairs Okay, from level one to level two, 16 uh, is the desired uh, number. That's uh, significantly less. Okay, that's for this uh, type. Let's go to monolithic. Yeah, okay, here with the monolithic. And let's, uh, yeah, let's keep this set up. So just go here and create a run. So let's go like that. Okay, and let's just flip it to the other side. So rotate angle 180. There we go, so it's uh, facing maybe towards us. Maybe that's better. Okay, just hit finish. Let's delete this. Okay, and if we go into 3D, this is what we get. Okay, so now I'm just going to be removing the railings. So select both of the railings and delete them. And this is the stair we have. And maybe we can adjust uh, this, uh, these floors. I think it would be for the best. So I'm, I just deleted the top one and Maybe make this a bit smaller. I don't think we need that much. Yeah, this will work better. And just let's just copy and paste to level two. Come on, paste, align the selected levels, level two, there we go. Okay, now we need to make a hole uh, in this level two for our staircase. So you just select level two, you go edit boundary. Uh, but if I go here to level two, now I need to go uh, with a rectangle and just poke another hole over here, hit finish, there we go. And when, it, when we go to 3D, this is what that looks like. So it looks, uh, looks all right. And now we can start modeling our staircase. Uh, so this should be north elevation if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. And now let's start uh, creating our in-place uh, staircase over this. This is just something that we're going to be using as a template. So we'll just go to architecture, component, uh, model in place. And let's go, do we have a stair option? Yeah, stairs. There's one, that's okay. And you just start off with an extrusion. Now you can do this as a roof command and I already did it in a previous tutorial. So check that one out, uh, link is in the description. In this case, I'm going to do it as an extrusion just to kind of make it a bit different. So uh, for the reference plane, you just go pick a plane and then you choose the first step, kind of like this. And then you just uh, go and select this line, 
you select perhaps this line and this line and there you go so that's pretty much it so you extend this all the way up extend this all the way up to the top and now we need to give it an offset so just go or, or first let's fill it the edge so let's give it a radius of I don't know like uh, 100 millimeters that's like 10 centimeters yeah that looks fine now let's offset it by 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters so let's see can we select this line yeah do the same thing here and the same thing here and you just hit the, uh, the tab key yeah like that and you just trim and extend this thing and if you can't see it or this is too thick maybe you can go here into 10 lines and now you can see it a bit better and we just need to cap it off over here so just go line and uh, just close it off close it off here hit finish okay now let's go to either uh, west or east elevation so let's go east and let's flip this on the other side go like that but actually let's leave it uh, a bit of a gap so let's go here with minus two six so it will look some like something like this and, and now we can go to copy unconstrain it and you can copy it from here all the way to here and then uh, maybe we can copy multiple and then do the same thing so go from there to there to here okay I missed this one so you just go like that copying this all the way up and you're going to see we're going to be having a bit of a problem that we need to fix once we finish this so let's let's just finish it first okay we need this okay we don't need okay Oh yeah, we need that step. Okay, and as you can see, this is the, the problem, but actually you can fix it in 3D. Uh, so you just go over here, you select this thing, and you just extend it all the way down. And that's the that's pretty much it. So that's how you fix the problem. And the cool part is you can do it in 3D, and you don't have to go into uh, this edit extrusion option, so it saves uh, a bit of time. So let's just finish these. Uh, make sure you attach them to the floor yeah kind of like that come on and you do the same thing well for all of them okay we're almost done we've just got this problematic part so as you can see if I try to uh, link this it deletes the element so the problem is uh, we're not shortening this straight part we need to shorten this angled part so just go into edit extrusion and then you can go maybe into pick lines oops pick this line yeah as you can see this is the line we need so let's delete this so you just go here trim and extend you trim that you trim this maybe go like that yeah so we need to have this little corner so that's what we're looking for and then we can delete the rest of it make sure to delete this top one and do the same thing on the other side so you go to the other side or you can maybe use the mirror tool so let's delete the whole thing go DM for draw mirror and just go like that is it in the right place I think it is so just hit finish yeah we forgot this part delete finish there you go and I'm just going to select the the whole thing and let's change the material perhaps so let's go with something well, let's go with something wild like red to make it stand up stand up stand out okay let's load that in hit apply okay finish model uh, let's select the staircase delete it and there we go and uh, let's change the material for the floors as well just to make for a more interesting rendering let's go with white drip some wallboard okay apply okay there we go and that looks nice and uh, let's create our rendering so go to level one so it goes from here upward yeah uh, so architecture where is it okay here it is camera and place a camera like that oh that looks really cool <laughs> I didn't expect it to look this cool <laughs> but anyway so you can maybe orbit it around a bit and uh, maybe lower this extend this a bit make it fit my YouTube video format hit double R for render for some reason it doesn't okay here it is and go to medium printer uh, yeah let's get, make it a bit higher quality 
Uh, let's give it a shot. So hit render and let's see what happens. Ooh, this looks really cool. <laughs> I, I actually really like it. And yeah, it, it looks really nice. You can make it perhaps from some plastic or resin or something like that. And it's a really cool interior part. Maybe uh, just one change that I would make. Uh, I, we left like a two centimeter gap between these two. Uh, maybe we can do be, be, between these elements. But uh, now that I, uh, when I look at the, the rendering, maybe if it was something like four centimeters, it would maybe look a bit better. But I don't know how would that uh, affect the walking uh, along these stairs. I don't know. Never mind, it looks really cool, that's the important part. But anyway, if you want to download this uh, cool staircase, uh, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.